Chapter 2, Escape from Bruel. Isara, Martha, please be okay. Wait, where's your gun? Martha. Didn't you have a gun? What's her problem? Is she pregnant or just fat? Uh, Who cares? Not gonna make any difference when she's dead. That voice. I know that voice. Stop this now. See what she's wearing? Take a good look at that shawl. She's a darkson. What? That explains it. I thought this place stunk. Now I know it does. So we got ourselves a fat one and a stinky one. Fuck, where have I heard that voice yeah, before? It's a regular pig farm in here. Come on, I know I've heard that voice. The second guy. I will thank you to watch your tongue in this house. You have to leave now. That's a big gun for such a little girl. Drop it. Where have I heard that voice? Shit. Sarah! Huh? Hold it right there! Shoot! Shoot! Uh. Shoot! Die. Shoot! Thank you. Dark son pig. He's not dead. Shoot again, please. Isara, are you okay? That's like the most dangerous okay, looking bolt Martha, handle I've ever seen. She's... Martha! This isn't good. She's gone into labor. Are you kidding me? Moving her would be dangerous. Right. Well, we can't just leave her here. What are we going to do? Why is she still here? There are a lot of Imperials out there, Ys. Get their guns. It's only a matter One of time had a submachine before they gun, take I over think. the mill plaza. Welks, listen. The barn out back. What about it? Our fathers have left us something. Something that might get us out of this mess. It's a tank from the wrong era. I thought this was 1935. That looks like something oh, from the 50s at it's least. Still here. And it's one of a kind. Here it is, the Edelweiss. Tamer built it especially for General Gunther. Yeah, and it worked great too. So it's just been parked here in the barn? I wanted to make sure it would still operate, you know, in case of emergencies. I enrolled in a maintenance class given by the military. I wanted to be able to do what my father could do. Well, that's great. But that's only a class, Isara. It really didn't need much. Hardly any alterations at all. I just fitted it with a new turbine engine. It really improves on the power to weight ratio. Nice. The Edelweiss is field worthy. Its firepower and mobility are more than a match for recent models. Well, assuming it does work. What's next? Is it fueled up? Right. Welks, you took the armored vehicle course, didn't you? Yeah. Back in high school. Once. We'll bring Martha here. She'll be safe inside the tank, <laughs> and we can move to a better location. <laughs> Just leave the driving to me, okay? All you have to do is give the orders. Oh, so... <laughs> he gets to stick his head out of the top and get shot at. Actually, it looks like... Nope, nope, he's sticking his head out of the top. Yep. Isara, we ready to roll? Engaging engine. The Edelweiss is ready for deployment. Jesus. Alicia could still be out there dodging bullets, buying time for people to evacuate. Well, does she know we Here's brought a tank? Plan. We're gonna pick up Alicia and get out of town. That Lee's got nothing on this. Move out! It's like some sort of demonic mix of, like, Panzer IV and like, um, crap, uh, it's, what is it, T-50, Soviet tank? 
This is gonna be awesome. Okay. Teach that Lee a lesson in the meaning of the word spatula. Here's the brief for this operation. Wait, what? The enemy is a squad centered around a single tank, currently advancing from the plaza to the main road. We need to defend the gate on that road. If the enemy breaches it, the evacuating townspeople will be in danger. They'll probably head for the gate and try to destroy it. The tank will be with them. Our goal here is to take out that tank while keeping the gate standing. Without the help of your tank, it's next to impossible for us to destroy their tank. Until we can rendezvous, the Brule Town Watch will do everything we can to keep the gate in one piece. The Town Watch will need to hold off the enemy forces until you arrive with the tank. We'll need to use the sandbags around the starting point and gate for cover to hold back the Empire's attack. Alright, let's begin. We've got to stop them here. If this gate falls, there's going to be even more casualties among the townspeople. Seriously, what is these people's the deal? Will defend this gate so as many people as possible can get away. Got a second? Listen close, and I'll explain. Ah, uh, Alicia. About sandbags and hand grenades. By moving behind sandbags and selecting crouch units, defenses are maximized and extra damage for headshots is negated. When focusing on defense or ending one's turn, it's always best to hide this way. Contrarily, this means that enemies hiding behind cover are well protected and more difficult to defeat as well. This is why hand grenade, the hand grenade is used. Its explosive power can destroy sandbags. First the yeah, I, I already found the sand- the- yeah. So someone gave these fucking- gave the Imperials fucking sandbags. I want it on record. Wait. Wait, we don't, we don't have, oh, we have, oh, god damn it. <sighs> damn it. I want do-over. I selected someone without fucking grenades. Is Alicia the only one with grenades? Enemy unit spotted. Now. Who fucking gave these idiot sandbags? Seriously. Lol, we'll just fucking sandbag up. Get over the damn barricade, Alicia. Thank you. Oh, right. I already shot. That's a uh, shock trooper. Oh shit. I mean, she doesn't have any grenades. That's uh, that's a shame. I'm gonna try and get this guy who's behind us because I, I, I get the distinct feeling. That uh, we're gonna we're gonna have problems with that flank going on over there. Also, he's a commander, so if I kill him, they lose action points. Did Alicia? Did you shoot the town watchman in the back? Yeah, yeah, no cover for you. There's a reason I blew that thing up first. Oh, 
Shit, that guy's got an SMG. About Ragnade, a small amount of damage is healed so sometimes the units suffered heavy damage needs Yet another product of Ragnite or Ragnade combines healing and antibiotic properties into a single in the package. It's it's a healing potion. My turn, okay? Heal Alicia, then die because that tank is bullshit. My turn, okay? I'm not certain we can win this unless we get fucking no. Welkin's tank in here. Yeah, you can kill a lot of people off turn. Please tell me fucking Wilkins tank gets here. Yes, okay. Here we go. The tank should be able to breach that wall. All right, let's give it. About tanks, tanks possess firepower and endurance far beyond that of foot soldiers. They are able to deflect nearly all gun fire from enemy foot soldiers. This makes them a solid wall for your own ground units to hide behind. Unlike ground units, however, tanks do not recover a portion of their lost HP each turn. Tanks also consume two CP when selected in command mode. Relying too heavily on tanks in battle will quickly lead to a fatal shortage of CP. Additionally, tanks require, require AP to turn, so take care to plan ahead in its direction you'd like to face in your turn's end. Yep. Sup, bitches. Alicia, I'm sorry we're late. Welcome. You have a tank? <laughs> yes. We can talk later. Right now, we need to stop those soldiers. Enemy tanks sighted, Welks. No, I don't think we see the tank. Switching to anti-tank combat. Armor-piercing shells loaded. All right. Let's go take it down. Okay, so... Yes. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. 
So we're just going to kill this guy to reduce the number of command points they have. Yes. Tread, tent, body. Obvious awful weak point. Seriously, I'm pretty sure you should build tanks differently. Entering combat. Thanks for missing, Welkin. And it is Welkin gunning that. I mean, I guess since he's doing all of the fucking work... I can't blame him too much. Fucking shock troops are tough. Hey, pay attention to me. That's not minor, that's a lot of damage we just took. Shit, Alicia's half dead. Okay, so since apparently Welcome is a terrible shot, we're just going to drive right up to this thing and shoot it right in the fucking radiator. Boom! We win! Yes! We stopped it! Nice work, Ys! Woohoo! Now you're my hero, Welkin! Hey, that's neat. The Imperials are running off for now. Looks like we bought some time, at least. Welks! Welks! It's a boy! Martha had a boy! That's, uh... She, she gave birth in Dad's tank? Yeah, that's weird. Yes, and without complications. They're both perfectly healthy. Did, did, did that just happen? Because <laughs> neither of you two were doing shit about it. Good. That's fantastic. Now let's stay sharp as we head out of town. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. I don't know how they expect me to do better. That tank was bullshit. Uh, at home, with home at our backs. Yep. It's time to fuck off. GTFO, leave, Two scram. Two hours after the first shots were fired, Bruel was under Imperial control. Though a mere skirmish by Empire standards, the raid on Bruel would mark Welkin Gunther's first taste of battle and begin his rise to a Galleon hero. Having a bullshit tank didn't hurt. Alicia. I thought I would be ready for this. I knew war meant this might happen. It hurts. Seeing my town overrun like this, seeing all those people killed, it's just not right. How could all this happen? It isn't human, Welkin. We look at those birds and see how wild and free they are. But they all have their own territories. If anything threatens their home, they'll risk their lives to defend it. People are animals too. We do what we have to, when we have to. Animals are in a constant struggle to stay alive, but I've also seen them help each other, almost like they were cooperating in order to survive. Cooperating? That's why I'm so into studying natural science. 
that coexistence. I want to know how it works. If we could figure that out, mankind could put it to use for our own survival. We kind of already know. That's why I want to be a teacher, so that I can pass that knowledge on to the children. I mean, even if we can't completely eliminate war, at least we might learn to live together as one people. You think so? Welks, look. Martha fell asleep, so that makes me the babysitter. See, Alicia? <laughs> God. Oh, he's adorable. Just like you said. Even in war, new life happens all around us. I don't know, that's a bit contrived of an explanation. Look, that's your hometown. It's fucked! Someday, we'll come back home again. Yes. Someday soon. See, he doesn't even want to look I at it. I know it. Maybe they'll rebuild the windmill to be less stupid.